I'll walk you through how to make a baby bib and a toddler bib. Now these baby bibs and toddler bibs are a little bit different. The toddler bib has a nice food catcher fold on it that you can easily add to the baby bib if you really want it. I'll walk you through all of the steps, but I'm also going to talk to you about how best to use your Velcro with these projects, as well as how to use snaps. After choosing the fabric that you want for this project, then make sure that you have Velcro or snaps. And of course, download the free patterns, which I will have linked in the description below. So the first thing you will do is you will cut out your pattern piece, tape it together, and then fold your cotton piece of fabric. That way you can lay your bibs edge along that folded edge, pin it in place, and then you can cut the front of your bib out. And if you were doing the toddler bib, you will want to cut out a piece of cotton fabric that measures six inches by nine inches. And then what you'll do is you will take your flap, fold it in half so the wrong sides are facing in, and then you will lay it so that the raw edge of your flap is lined up along the bottom of your bib. Pin it in place and then trim the excess fabric away. The fabric for the back of the bib should be an absorbent fabric, so I do recommend using this Sherpa fabric that I'm using here, or you could use a terry cloth fabric and that would be a very nice fabric for the back of a bib as well. What you'll do is you will lay the backing fabric right side face up and then lay your bib fabric right side face down on top of that. Pin it in place and you will sew a half inch seam allowance around the entire thing, leaving a three inch opening on the bottom of the baby bib if you are not doing one of those food catchers on it. And if you are doing a food catcher, then leave that three inch opening on the side of the bib because then when you're turning it right side out, you're not struggling with the extra fabric that could be in the way if you leave that three inch opening on the bottom. Then take your time and trim away all of the excess fabric. The less fabric that there is, especially on the curves, the nicer it will look when you've turned it right side out. Make sure you do leave a little extra fabric where your opening is because it'll just make it easier to fold that fabric in and seal that hole shut later on. Then turn your project right side out. Use your chopstick to just push out those edges. Bring it to your iron. Give it a nice press folding those flaps inwards, pin across that open edge, and then sew a quarter inch seam allowance around the entire thing. And now you can add your snaps or Velcro. If you're new to sewing, I don't recommend the snaps quite yet. Velcro will be just fine. But the one thing you need to know about Velcro is that when you sew into Velcro, you want to be using Velcro that does not have a sticky back. If it has a sticky back, it'll just gum up up your needle. So make sure you're buying the correct Velcro. I will link to some in the description down below. And then also make sure that the rough side of the Velcro, the side where the hooks are, is being attached faced away from the baby's neck. And then the soft loops of the Velcro can be placed on the side that will be facing towards the baby's neck. That way the baby is still comfortable wearing the bib. If you're interested in adding snaps to your projects, I will have a few different kits linked in the description down below. And if you're really serious about wanting to add snaps to lots of different projects, then I actually recommend just jumping right on in to the cam snap system, which I will also link in the description down below. You will need snaps that are male and female, and then you will need claws to attach these snaps to your project. So this particular clamp that I have here has a rounded edge and a flat edge. And on the flat edge, I will lay my claw with the pointy bits poking upwards, and then I will lay my female bits on the other side with the backing pointed upwards, and then I will clamp it on either side of my fabric, squeezing as tight as I possibly can. The cam snap system is nice because you don't have to use your own hand strength to make sure that your snaps stay in place, but 
this works just as well. And then on the opposite side, you will need the male snap and you will still add the claw inside your gripper. And then you will squeeze that as tight as you possibly can as well. And you have attached your snaps. I do like to add two snaps to my bibs. That way the bib has a little bit more flexibility with its sizing. All right. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.